With the popular miniseries Chernobyl, which was out on HBO several weeks ago. Check it out if you haven't. It's amazing. It's a great series. It really shows what happened. You know, there's, they took the liberties with some things, but it's a great miniseries. Yeah. Definitely will help uh, get you an idea of what happened back in the 1980s. Uh, anyhow, we've had a lot of requests to do a test about EMF radiation. And so Eric has purchased an EMF... Uh, it's not the same as, you know, Chernobyl. But no, there's different types of radiation. Uh, EMF, as you said, electromagnetic field, is classified kind of into two categories of radiation. It's, that's ionizing and non-ionizing, right? Yep. And so ionizing is going to be stuff like x-rays, um, stuff like that, harmful. Non-ionizing, which is stuff like your cell phone, stuff like that is highly debated whether or not it truly is bad for you. There have been lots of good studies, some showing yes it's bad, some showing it's not really bad, some showing it's bad only in high doses. But it is still a concern. So we have purchased this. It's actually a highly, highly rated meter for EMFs. It does all kinds of other stuff too. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you want to check it out yourself. It's actually kind of good to know. But we're going to check and compare microwaves, phones, TVs, all kinds of stuff to the Tesla. Yeah, basically things that, devices that you would use every day in your daily life. Exactly, and a lot of people spend a lot of time in their cars, which means if there's high levels in your car, you will get exposed to high levels. And it actually came with this cool little card right there. It kind of shows you like the danger warning and shows you uh, anything higher than 100 mg is not recommended. So an, an mg is milligauss. Yeah. It's so. the unit they use to, to measure EMF radiation. And to kind of put it into perspective, the EPA or... Environmental Protection Agency in the United States. Recommends that you limit your exposure to 0.5 to 2.5 milligauss. And to put that into perspective, we'll test it in a few minutes, when you're three feet away from a microwave, you're exposed to up to 25 milligauss. So 10 times what the EPA suggests. Now, of course, we can get into the debate of long-term versus short-term exposure because I don't think anyone sits in front of a microwave all day that's on. Growing up, though, I did work at Burger King, and there was microwaves for, for three years that I worked at Burger King, and it was, like, right in front of my face. So EMF radiation. That might explain a few things. <laughs> There is a lot of disagreement over EMF safety, though, because there's no super strong research that says it's harmful to human life, but there's also no research that says it's not harmful. Uh, but according to the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer, EMFs are possibly carcinogenic to humans. And also, they believe that some studies show a possible link between EMFs and cancer in people. It's just some things to kind of think about, because you really need to watch out for yourself. But according to most scientists, they can all kind of agree that EMFs can alter your body's nervous system function and cause damage to some cells. Um, it can include a lot of sleep disturbances, including insomnia, headaches, depression, tiredness, fatigue, lack of concentration, changes in memory, dizziness, irritability, loss of appetite, anxiety, nausea, uh, a lot of different stuff, which now that a lot more people are using a cell phone, whether it be up to your ear or in front of your face, I know I go to a mall and half the people I see are like this. A lot of people have these so close to them and these actually emit quite a high dose of EMFs. Food for thought, do with it what you will, but we are gonna show you exactly what typical household objects have, what the Tesla has, and even my parents still have ice cars. It's okay, we are working on converting them. We are working on it. But we're gonna test their ice car too so we can kinda get an idea of what they have. But um, yeah, EMFs, comment down below what you think. Are they bad? Right now, we're still getting a baseline of like one milligauss. Sounds pretty low. Very low. So if you put your phone screen on, which most people like have their phone sitting in their pocket all day, Screen on though, we're up to like 114, 186 peak. Now if you have your screen off, oh, it's 200, okay. That's odd, so it's actually even higher. It's still emitting with the screen off. So keep that in yeah, mind. So Everyone keeps their pocket. phone in their pocket. You're basically nuking your junk. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Yikes. Now a few inches away, it does drop significantly. 
But yeah, so that's cell phones. Let's go ahead, check out some microwaves, some other household stuff that you might typically be around. And then a lot of people spend time in their car. So we're gonna check out the S, we're gonna check out the three and the X. So ambient, we're getting about four-ish. Now, if we get closer to the screen, and see basically on the screen we jump to about 14. It actually thinks it's a power line. It is a medium risk, not bad. Back here where I'm sitting is about three or four. If we get to where knees go, we're up to 25. Now keep in mind the car is not moving yet. And as we get closer, your autopilot computer's back here. We're up to 142. So yeah, over here on the driver's seat, it's quite low again, averaging about a one. And you know, around the steering wheel. Hmm. Well, I saw it peak at four for a second, but about three, yeah? Yeah. But yeah, but it's not huge and it's not beeping or anything. And just no. moving it down, uh, you know, towards my feet, it looks like it's about seven to 10, so not huge. So autopilot is enabled. Um, I don't really see anything different. It's still peaking at about 140. So I don't really think autopilot, or even really driving, increases it much at all. Okay, it's good to know. Good to know for sure. So when not in, dri so when not in drive, we're getting pretty low amounts. Now, uh, can you go ahead and throw it in drive real quick, David? Can you try just backing up a little bit, even though the doors are open? Just be careful. Mm, there's a little bit of a... Okay, not a lot. Okay. Not terrible where people like put all their kids and everything. So like ambient is... Yeah, about one. About one. But, okay. What we were seeing... So get close to the screen, but don't touch it. Slightly higher. Actually, it's lower than Model S and X. Yeah, about half of what the yeah. S and X was. So now go to your knees. Okay, so about 9, 10. Now go... About 17, 13. Interesting. It is less. That's okay. very open odd. The, uh, open the uh, glove compartment. Uh oh. But it's only like 28. Yeah. So that is much less. S than... was like 140. Interesting. My knees are about four. And then where my feet are is about seven. Okay. What about the wheel? That's about, still about half of what the... Uh... Yeah, it's about half of what S was. Okay, so here we are in Model X. And you can see ambient, we're maybe 0.7-ish. Now if we get close to the screen, we're about 15 or so. Now if we get down here... Oh, it's only like 8. Well, this is Autopilot 3. That is true. Now steering wheel, it's about one-ish. Down here for the driver, about seven. Okay, so about 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Yeah, 0 0.3 again. Back seat, might, a little bit higher right there by the USB port, but still. Yeah. What is it back there? Oh, it's like, it's a little higher in this last seat. Eh. It, okay, it's about six, eight, it's jumped 12. So it's that is right there. above the motors. Yeah, and the uh, the charging, yeah. yeah. Still not very high though, still like only the highest I saw was like 12. Okay. But, but really it was going between five and, and 10. Okay, so here is my laptop. As you can see, it's very low. It's actually lower than I would have thought. Oh, just kidding. That's actually... So keeping a laptop on your lap is probably not a great idea. 300, that's probably the highest we've seen. It's definitely higher than the Autopilot 2 and Autopilot 2.5 computers. Yikes, that's really high and it's like stable high. Okay, well, and I guess... on the top, do you want to try the bottom? I guess I should know mm -hmm. that. Okay, well, we're still like 200. So no, nothing. So, not great. Scott's over here doing some kind of cooking. Are you making eggs? Yeah, I'm making eggs. Okay, so, as we walk towards the range, Look, we're like a foot and a half away and it's already 140. This is an induction range, by the way. It is induction. But as we get closer, when is the meter just gonna like blow up? What's the height that it can go to? I don't know. But that's like 357 right there. That's pretty darn high. So like, yikes. 
Okay, so here's the fridge. I mean, you're not here very much, so it's it's super low. Yeah. Eh, it's a little higher in front of the screen due to the electronics. Wait, Kit, what are you? Don't do the oh look, Kit's like point one. Okay, so here is our main TV. What are you getting? It's actually really low overall. And that's like right in front of the screen, so that means yeah. like on the couch and everything, yeah. it's got to be like zero. It's not like the old CRT TVs where you know your parents said that you go blind or oh. Yeah. Oh, you found a 200 spot. <laughs> Maybe that's where the power supply is. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, here, let me see that real quick. But though. for the most part, it was really low. Oh, that's... Now, even like two feet away, we're at point one. Okay, and we are actually meeting up with my parents for dinner, so I will insert the readings from the ice car now. We're gonna test on the truck. Okay. So, turn it on. It's about ambient of four. 19. Ooh, 35. 118 by your feet. Okay. That's about the same as Tesla. What's your wheel? About one, about the same as Tesla. And then, give me a foot for a sec. About 11. So yeah, definitely more down here. Kind of like the Teslas, that's odd. So yeah, we're just reporting the readings. We're gonna leave it up to you to decide what you do with them because really there's no like actual long-term studies, I think yet that are super reliable. So still though, long exposures to EMFs, probably not a great thing. A lot of you guys had requested this though and we were curious about it ourselves. So we figured why not? We spent the money on a fancy little meter here and yeah. uh, checked it out. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it though. Comment down below what you think. Is this going to affect how long you spend in your car? I did find it funny though that the Autopilot 3 Model X and the Model 3 were actually a lot lower where like the front dash is compared to Autopilot the 2, 2 and 2.5S. Yeah, they were virtually identical between Autopilot 2 and 2.5, but, but uh, the, yes, like you said, the Autopilot 2.5 of the Model 3 yeah. and of the Model X with Autopilot 3 were did virtually nothing. So that's interesting. What did they change on Model 3 to do that? And what did they change with Autopilot 3 to do that? I don't know, but it's still super interesting. Comment down below what you guys think and we can talk about it down there. As always though, huge thanks to Abstract Ocean for sponsoring the channel. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model S, X, or Model 3, definitely check them out. All kinds of cool accessories, matte screen protectors, which we actually have in all of our cars because it actually makes your screen viewable in like sun environments because it makes it anti-glare, it's super nice. But they have all kinds of other cool stuff and using code Tesla inventory, all one word, will get you 15% off your first order. So definitely check them out. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that and found that interesting. I actually learned a lot about my cell phone usage and I probably should monitor that a little bit more. Go ahead and click here to subscribe, here for some other ones, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.